<laughs> Look, she gotta learn, man. She gotta learn. That's all it is. <laughs> so we did do laundry. He washed the sheets. My sheets are brand new. I just put them up there because I uh I took my sleeping bag home. I'd rather have the sheets and my cover because I get pretty hot in that sleeping bag quick. Um, I'm about to straighten up my bunk up here and you know make my little bed my clothes are currently in the dryer so when they come out i'm gonna fold them and put them back in my luggage this truck part right here beside us look good it look like some uh carolina tar heel colors uh currently right now y'all we are in california we came through uh mexico arizona all that i really hate going through arizona because the service for T-Mobile is trash. Like you can have one bar, you can then you can have five bars and drop drop back down to one bar. Right now we doing laundry. I think my stuff is stopped. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we doing laundry after we get done. I'm gonna drop this load off. No, we're gonna pick up a load going to Pennsylvania. I hate going to Pennsylvania because those mountains is crazy. did like a little tie down so whenever you know the truck get on brakes it won't slide forward and fall off San Diego, California, Mexico. We done passed by the border, and you can actually see the uh, the wall. Look at them out here, just cleaning that truck. They must have been in that door for a long time. What is up, Slime Pack, Pack Nation? I'm getting ready to start my day. Well, for y'all, but my day already started. Um, I woke up around. It's kind of complicated because. I had slept earlier yesterday night, like around seven, because I thought I was gonna drive all night, but my 30, I gotta do my 34 hour reset. So I woke up around one, I went into this driver lounge here at this TA in California, and I sat in there for about two hours. I went back to sleep around maybe three, and woke up at seven in the morning, and I've been up ever since. I then took my shower already, changed my clothes or whatever, now I'm getting ready to go in here and grab me something to eat. They got like a food court. I think it's a Wendy's, Popeye, Subway, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, your usual truck stop restaurant, fast food restaurants. Uh, I did zoom in on the map and I see they do got a Starbucks within walking distance. So I ain't had Starbucks in a while. I've been laying off the Starbucks drink, but uh, I think today I might have to get me one. Usually, if I get a Starbucks drink, I really don't eat no food. So, it's like, <laughs> eat food later, drink Starbucks now. But, uh, we'll see. I don't know what town we leaving. I don't know who's starting out first. Because I don't get my hours back until after 12. Right now, it's 11. So, I don't know if you want to drive first or we just going to wait till my hours come. But, make sure y'all like this video. Drop a green emoji when the video's over. We'll come back and leave a comment. 
snippets. And if you ain't subscribed already, then stop playing with slime, y'all. Let's get ready to go. As y'all can see, you know, the truck is pretty nice and clean. Bed and stuff is made up. It smells good in here. It always do. Listen, if you want a good water bottle, you want it to keep your drink cold or hot, this right here from Walmart. I think it costs like, I think $12. But yeah, it's real good. He got a nice size fridge. And also, it's got a freezer that's separate from the fridge. Only thing I keep in here is just the water. I might get some stuff for a sandwich. But that's all I've been drinking out here on the road is water. Keep our shoes up here in the front. I think most, mostly everybody just keep their shoes up here in the front. Well, as far as the videos that I've been seeing. driver's lounge I was talking about put a light on but this is as bright as it get recline chairs the TV is up there copyright 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 plenty of showers bathrooms laundry stuff to take your money and then y'all know the usual truck stop stuff. Clothes and stuff that you can get at a regular store for half the price. But uh, it's Taco Bell over here, Pizza Hut, and the Subway. I think I said Wendy's, but it's actually a Burger King. It's not like that's much better. They got some shopping outlets that way, like Nike. Uh, there's a lot of famous footwears. So, uh, some kind of black bear diner, but I see what I'm looking for. It's Starbucks right there. Uh, um, Mexican Grill, Habitat Burger Grill. It's a lot of stuff, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna get to Starbucks now and grab me some food, like a salad or something, where I can eat later for whenever I get hungry. I sacrifice that food for a good Starbucks. My advice to people, like, if you're still training, if you can get off that truck, get off the truck. Like, even if it's just for a simple walk. A lot of times, I just walk in the stores. I don't buy nothing, but I just walk in the stores to take a breath. And I think I see Norman over there, because I think he got on red sweatpants. Let me call him and see where he's going. Where you headed to? Where you headed to? What you got? It's good, good? Oh. Uh huh. I know, I think I'm about to get Starbucks. <laughs> I mean, it's been being over a week. One ain't gonna hurt. That's it, just one. So you feeding this Yeah. I'm gonna get me I'm gonna get me a salad for on the road. Oh, they got a lot of more stuff right there. H and M. Some other stuff I can't even read. Hotels, pretty nice. And they got a lot of truck parking over here at this T8. I don't know where I'm off to. I think I'm in... Let me go to my weather. Usually pull up where I'm at. Right here in California. Arvin. Right there. Like when I go to new Starbucks, they be getting kind of confused whenever I say like the Port Espresso because they be thinking 
I just want an espresso on the side. Like, no, I want it inside the drink. Hello? Hey, my phone, uh, my phone was on silent mode. I just saw your call. All right, y'all. Here's the drink. I always do that shake test to see if it's gonna be watery. It ain't shaking at all, so you know they did their job right with the extra ice. They called me up there because I think how she rung it up. Cause like I said, she rung it up as two separate drinks. But I told him I said it's not gonna be a price difference. Uh, he tried to prove me wrong. It only came up to like 25 cents. I told him it's going to be 12.69. So what? I was right. Like I'm a usual. I do this. I know these drinks more than y'all do that work there. So right now, I'm going to try to grab me some food for later on and head back to the truck. Yeah, this ain't gonna lie, y'all. This dude right here. 
right here, they're taking forever. <laughs> I'm talking about forever. That's rule number one in the diesel island. Get your gas, pull forward, do what you got to do, and go. Sensor? Yeah. It might be enough. Oh, it might be that bug right there. This is what you're talking about. Sensor right there on the front of these freight lines, y'all. Sometimes you're going to school. <laughs> Somewhere in the mountains of California. Let me check. Actually, this is my second shower for the day. This right here is where we at. And we headed to Pennsylvania. I really hate going to Pennsylvania because they mountains is different. But I'm about to get the shower and tune back in. Y'all, this is actually my second shower for the day. I got, I had a shower this morning. Um, yeah. So right now we at the terminal here in Springfield. He had to come get some stuff looked at on the truck. We're only like 12 hours away from Pennsylvania. And uh, today is Friday morning. It's one in the morning. The appointment ain't until I think seven and um Saturday morning. I'm gonna grab me something to eat. Probably go in here in this movie theater and just lounge up. I just got done driving. So y'all might be relaxed. 